opening song is number 65. His name is wonderful. It is in the hymn book. Uh, thanks to Rob and his quick eye. So number 65 in this book here. Thank you. 
Nothing Amen. is impossible for him. And because nothing is impossible, we can hide ourselves in Jesus Christ. The next Psalm is 335. He hideth my soul. And the wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord. <laughs>
Before we do much else, Karen is going to come and give a report of the daily vacation Bible school to the folks. And uh, she's rejoicing in her heart, but she's probably tired in her body. So, what's that? Oh, this one? It's easy to do. Yeah. Not at all. Nobody. No, it's all you hear it now, right? Well, that's true. Probably. You used to look at all the <laughs> Okay, this week for BBS was a really good week we had. Woo! God really moved us. It was it was really wonderful. We had 14 kids registered, and we had. Two that's never been to church at all that came and they're going to come to kids club. And I have one little girl that I've been picking up and when I get back to holidays, they want to bring her to Sunday school. And then the grandmother was saying to me that her and another lady are taking a day to come to church. And then we also had um, all of us and God really knows the leaders and everything that we had some uh, people asking like Martha was one that she always closed in prayer and she asked anybody to repeat it. And we had one little girl, she came up to me and she goes, Yes, what? And I want to she goes, I just felt this thing just lift me right up, right out of me. And she accepted Jesus Christ in her heart and she just, her face just blue, her eyes just open. And she's one of the girls that I've been working with the Martha went to kids club. And she was one of our leaders to help to get the kids around. She just by herself that night in prayer club and I just happened to have I'm away for a couple weeks, so I can't communicate. And so I happen to have a devotion book for her, which is six to ten years old, and it's one whole year. So I gave it to her, just one little piece, and I said to her, here's something for you from me that I have that I've never used. And I said, read it, and you have a Bible that will give you kids. So then take those two and just read them and just do it. And if you want anything, write what you want to write down that God talk to you. She goes, oh, thank you so much. So it was really... Just one, but you never know. I mean, there might have been other kids that wanted to accept Jesus Christ that we don't know of. But she actually, was, she came up to her and was guess what? I accepted Jesus in my heart. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, but still, it was really exciting to hear that that God really put in my heart to do this this year, which was been easy for me with my summer was everything going on. So God really put in my heart, and everybody's like, oh, I have some people that are going. Oh, can we come next year? And I'm like, yeah, I'll have it next year again. And I have another family say, well, we'll put it on our calendars for next week. It's the third week of August. I said, yeah, from the 12th. So, okay. So, I mean, it's been really a blessing. And so I'm so glad that God put in my heart to keep doing this. And I keep going, going. So God tells me to stop the loop right now. God's saying, nope, keep going. And he just told me just now, keep going. God's got something planned. Whatever he has planned. I believe he'll do it whenever it is. So that's so it's a great week. All my help was next to Don and everything else, and everybody else was not here to help. It was, it was great. And the barbecue and after we had the parents over, and part of they were here until like 3 o'clock. The time I left was 4 o'clock. My time was trying to clean some of the stuff up as much as I could, but they were having a good time. So it was just a blessing and everything that God did. Wonderful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I always mention that I, I was only able to be here for three days and only for a bit of each of them. And of course, to try to glean some snack and lunch. But uh, working at the prison, uh, just working around those, those so they could be able to be here a little bit. So it was a blessing for what I saw. And of course, to get a call from Martha, and Martha's pretty sedate, you know, but she was all excited when she called me up and said, a little girl accepted the Lord, and, and it was so real, it was so real, she just said, oh, this, this, this came into me, or however she described it, she said, you know, it's just, it's, she's, you know, it was a real experience for that young gal, and that makes it all worth it. You know, when I led my first guy in the jail to the Lord, talking to somebody said, well, that makes it all worth it, doesn't it? Uh, the eight months waiting to get to get into the prison and all that, to have someone accept the Lord, that makes it all worth it. Now we're around about 10 men that have accepted the Lord. So um, 
you know, it's, and it's not about the numbers, it's just that this is what we are about. You know, we may be a small group. Hey, we are small. There's no kidding about that. Uh, but uh, we exist to serve the Lord. And yeah, we're here and we're open. If you want to come in on a Sunday morning, we're here. Hallelujah. But we're not going to wait on a Sunday morning. You've got to go in there and be involved and reach out. That's what's important. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. Someone else have a word of testimony to give him praise today or a prayer request. We continue to thank God for uh, just his goodness in our life and healing and helping us through various things. Um, pray for Anne and, uh, and Al. Continue to lift them up. In his deteriorating condition, it's very hard for Ann, very frustrating, and waiting for him to get a room and carpet, so I don't know where that's at. So we just uh, trust the Lord for them. I have a little surgery, it's a regular kind of harvest, <laughs> a colonoscopy, and so on Wednesday, so that means Tuesday, I'm not around. <laughs> Gotta stay close to home to get ready for Wednesday morning. So uh, there'll be no permitting here at the church. So no no prayer meeting here Wednesday or Tuesday. Or whatever not, yeah, Tuesday night because I will be at home getting ready for uh, Tuesday for Wednesday morning, 7 30, 7 p.m. Um, and yep. we're starting on September the twelfth. We're gonna start praying for September the twelfth. Having a barbecue with parents coming in. Start with food. I like that. Start Tuesday the 12th. Um, so that works out fine. All of September, Kids Club starts up. It is our primary mission, our primary outreach to the community. So we need to keep praying for that. Lord, show us other things. Show us what else, Lord. Show us. And help us to be obedient. We have, we have the property. We have the resources. Um, we don't have many people, but we can do something, and we can do something for Him. Amen. Well, let's look to the Lord in prayer this morning. Ask Him to guide and direct us, lead us today. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we do praise you, Lord, for all that you have done. Lord, heaven rejoices when someone accepts the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, turns away from sin unto salvation. Father, we here, Lord, should be rejoicing as well. Give us a celebratory spirit, Lord. Help us to rejoice with them that rejoice as though as well as to mourn with them that mourn. We thank, Lord, that Last week, for others, I have a little cousin that I look after, and next of kin too, that's in ICU right now, Chelsea. We give her to you. I give uh, my own little needs, Lord, to you on Wednesday. Each one of us, Father, that has health issues, we come in into your hands. For our little, those that are shot in, Lord, at home, Pray, Father God, for them. We just pray your blessing on each one. Thank you, Father God, for the work of the gospel. And thank you, Lord, for whatever way that we can have in participating in the work of the Lord. It is an honor and a privilege, Lord. We pray for those who are today and those who are going in. We pray, Father God, for the work of the gospel in other churches. Lord, we remember. Lord, our partnership with those who believe, those who believe in the word of God without compromise, we pray for those churches, wherever they may be in our area, Father God. We ask, Lord, that you would abundantly bless each one that shares the word of the Lord. Father God, we ask today that your, you, O oh Lord, would be glorified in the preaching of the word. And we ask for the anointing of your Holy Spirit. For we ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. If you have your Bibles, if you can turn to Philippians chapter.